match, but really pay attention to Dela Cruz, 26. He is the key in this offense. And they will try to get him started, and there he goes. De La Cruz in a foot race into the secondary, and a touchdown saving tackle is made by Will Droga. He's going to hand, or if he's going to keep or pitch. You see the wide splits as well on that left side. They try to counter, and that time mine shuts the door. Braden J in February, as you talked about, you build those rules. It's a base defense, system type defense that the second year defensive coordinator likes to run. They sweep it off to that left side. Jay, who's their home run threat. Yep. Good. 8%. <laughs> My UCLA math says that's pretty good. Jay in motion. They will make the quick read and pitch. One man to beat. First down run up to the 24, stretching it up ahead. Turns up. He's getting it. Oh, they're going to say just short. So Keelon will take it over the center, Levi Pate. And this will be plenty as the serve. Pate's going, uh, if you look at him, 6'5", six 6'265", six not a big guy, but effective guy. De La Cruz, after ripping off a 40-yard run, and three straight games, averaging at least 20-plus carries. Had a 34-carry effort earlier in these playoffs. They run the pitch. Jay makes a plant and is upended at the 14-yard line, close to a good in the red zone. We saw Mine score on their first red zone trip. Let's see what the Bisons can do here. Gaping hole initially over that left side as De La Cruz plows to the nine. Adrian. That's why there's always a gap somewhere. You mentioned big Hunter Willis, number 74 earlier this week. He was named a first team AP All-American. Spicer trying to get to the edge. One man to beat. He'll try to muscle his way for the final few yards, and he's in. Touched it. Ball in the, I think, state championship game together. The freshman and the senior linebackers. Got to play side by side last Saturday night as they go to work on the ground. These players. One of those sons, Wyatt, a three-star linebacker, recently committed to play at Arkansas next year. Good job by Mines, stuffing the run, setting up a third down. Eight in the box defensively for Trip Thomas. They pitch it left side. First touch of the day for Chauncey Martin. And Martin is cut down at the 30. Look at this as we take one more look as well. Well, you're going to see the flow of defenders coming over to try to stop him. He does a nice job of making one miss and then get awful close to that first. Defensive line has to get penetration against this fourth and short. Wide splits, they attack it with their fullback, and this is going to be real close. I, I, you have to get you free with the, the fullback dive. Martin and Sinclair are the two slot backs. De La Cruz still the fullback. Fresh set of downs for Hardy. You have Roland Wallace out there, the big wide receiver, 6'2", 215. Big physical blocker down the field as well. Dane Romberger, his opposite, same story for him. And now pulling it, a late read there by Keelon. Never really a... That they have to have has to be next level. I'm not saying Keelon is Jamel Holloway, but he has to be special today. Following a block, De La Cruz, patience like he has showcased all season long. He'll bots on that defensive line. Part of the depth they have behind Hester Bonson and Peterson. They pitch it right side, Omar Sinclair. Cannot get free as sack guy, but we saw last week he can play really well against the run also. Everything has been on the ground thus far. No surprise for offensive analyst Kenny Wheaton. They'll run to the boundary side, a pitch to Sinclair, and they just jet sweep in regular football parlance. Quick snap and a first down carry. De La Cruz, that low center of yeah. gravity, just submarine. Nobody Part of the 10,000 strong in this stadium surprise. Harding knows what they want to do, and nobody has been able to stop them this year. And look at the space to run. Martin with a cut. Tackle from behind. Close to another foot. De La Cruz, sure, he'll touch it 20-plus times in a game, but then has a decoy. He's getting hit another 15, 20 times in a game. <laughs> Those carries, you know it's coming to him. 12th play of the drive. That's eaten up more than seven minutes. Speaking of eating up, there is nothing there. The things that they do down there, watch number 51, Levi Pate, on this, on this block. 
For the first time, the left-hander wants the throw, and a catch is made. Roland Wallace showing for a five. Hand the football off. De La Cruz make it five of six. Yeah, and what stopped that dive back? And what's driving minds absolutely nuts right now is John Matoka is watching on the sideline. This drive continuing to eat up game clock. The iced tea, you want some you want some sugar with that, that iced tea? Or you want some of this flex ball? Approaching 10 minutes alone on this drive for Hardy. Keylon might be checking it off. Spicer in motion, De La Cruz takes it up ahead to the 10. Smooth transition, the chemistry he's built with Keelaw. Third down, the pitch to the outside, to the pylon, touchdown, Brayton Jay. Rolling tonight against UCLA. Charles, we talked about it, scores and possessions when you play Harding, and they have all the momentum right now. This clock out. Their time of possession can be, sometimes they get to 40 minutes in a game. Yeah, they've been there twice this season where they have surpassed 40 minutes of T.O.P. 30 an offensive unit because you don't know how many more possessions you'll get. On second down, Keylon with the late pitch, and now a foot race. Braden Jay, the home run hitter, caught at the 21. He's a really good tackler, but he just missed on that one. And then what happens is you are getting hit. You see why these coaches just rave about Cole Keelon and the poise that he brings, making the right decisions, keeping it here, and another first down. After the timeout, Keelon on first down, pitches it. Jay dives in, touchdown. Man, is he patient, just wait. And he said, look around, look at these fans. It's the biggest reunion in Harding history, and it's because of what this team has done, guys. He always talks about the brotherhood, and he was part of it. As you see the surge from Keelon at quarterback, willing his way. Hood and he was talking about two in particular with Sam Blankenship, Michael Gregg, both players on his team that... You have to find something somewhere against this Harding rushing attack. This is the defense with 33 takeaways this year. They pitch it outside, and there goes Braden Jay. A foot race. Jay to the house, 73 yards. Smith and the Seahawks, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC, ESPN, and ESPN Deportes. Harding goes back to work, making the juggling catch on the pitch is Chauncey Martin. Double-A history. De La Cruz with a good chunk of those yards. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Hayden Gray. Mines has not been able to stop Harding today. Four possessions, four touchdowns for the Bisons. Trying to get them off the field. They're going to take a shot looking for Wallace. And he makes the wow. catch. <laughs> on looking over toward his sideline. He can throw the football. He threw for over 2,000 yards his senior year. Football. This, and this is what the, the patience level of uh, another team, this is they use so much clock here. See those linemen go down with their cut blocks. It's just like a whole row of dominant. Halfway through this third quarter. Play clock inside 10. Keelon to De La Cruz. And second and third effort. Forward progress to the 21. A gain of eight and a first down. We showed. Give him more scholarship opportunities yeah. as he's proven himself on the field. He said no. Put that toward other players who need it. He's that type of player, the leader. And that's what you need when you run the flex bone. It's still one of those things. It's selfless. 
Mines has to find a way to get a stop and turn this momentum because you're, you're, you're almost running out of the third quarter. Offensively, you haven't been able to keep drives alive, and now your defense is standing on the field way too long. Second down, they've had luck to the boundary side. This time, a good. At Harding. Yeah, Morgan, he broke his foot week one that season, rushing for 200 yards in that week one game, and then he had eight straight 100-yard efforts, catapulting high into the air. Jay and Bailey, Gage Price, Wesley Coleman. We've seen the rush from both Wallace and Hall, especially the way they have toughened up inside the red zone this afternoon. Yeah, I, I was just a little surprised because I thought the, the, the other formation. Keelan is going to use a lot of this play clock as they get it outside to Jay. He makes one missile miss. Holy smokes. <laughs> Disappearing act there. And was only getting looked at by college teams for defense. He told me this is surreal, living out his dream of being able to play quarterback in college. And the only number that he's concerned about is... There weren't many offers coming in, but... Harding spotted something in him to give him the chance and coaches were honest with us yesterday They said they had about five or six cornerbacks as De La Cruz is into the secondary De La Cruz trying to add an exclamation point takes it down to the 10 touchdown going back to Keelan they have five or six quarterbacks they were looking at the year he came in and he was the least talented as far as the quarterback position, but they loved his attitude, what he brought, that winning persona that Morgan was talking about. Yeah, Boston and when your dad's a high school coach to face this kind of offense. And that is something Simmons pointed out to us yesterday. Oftentimes, it's tougher to win conference games than playoff games because teams are used to trying to stop it. As you see, Spicer denied about a yard shot. Coach Simmons. <laughs> One of the coaches on the sideline, but I think it's Simmons saying finish. First and goal. Martin in motion. Keelan trying to take it in himself, and he is in. Punches up six. Potential NFL type receivers, but that recruiting piece, the type of player that they want here at Harding, is exactly the reason that they went to the flex bone. It's a very selfless offense. You have to have selfless guys who don't care about the stats, the numbers, but guys, over 420 rushing yards today and becoming the first team ever. Type of defense. And then, like Morgan alluded to, the flex bone fits the culture of what Harding wants to do as far as the discipline, the toughness, the selfless as well. Uh, so this is an opportunity for both programs to be in a place where they like to recruit and get kids to their school. Keelan will pitch it. Chauncey Martin is hit hard. Healy that time brought the thumb. Yeah, Max McLeod just took his eyes away and Dunlap was able to take, take advantage of that. Such a competitor, and those two just crushed when they found out they would not have an opportunity to play for a national title, and they use that certainly as a springboard into the offseason with, with one in goal. Tuition and, and what happened today. Keelan on the pitch. This is Omar Sinclair, and will this be the exclamation point? Sinclair has had three surgeries since 2021, a chance to contribute, and he does as he dates are there for Omar Sinclair. You could tell when he was running that ball, the players were so happy for him, and they were all trying to get down there and celebrate with him. Dela Cruz, you know, just you can't say man, it is hard. And both of these schools have in position to win their first one and it looks that Harding is going to do it but you gotta you gotta get take, tip your hat to also what Mines has been able to do over the last two years and